Peyton Gully was excited about her freshman year at Pope High School in Marietta when everything changed. Those years didn't end up looking anything like she thought they would, but they absolutely shaped what would come next. I was diagnosed with uh, mixed phenotype leukemia at the age of 15. Peyton Gully found herself in a fight for her life. We knew that she had a long challenge ahead. There she was in her hospital room for weeks, even months at a time. I had two bone marrow transplants, and uh, those were definitely my longest hospital stays. It actually, it did look like um, I probably wasn't going to make it, and that was uh, a really scary thought to be faced with. Do you remember thinking about, you know, if I do make it through this, I really want to do something that matters. Like I have a real opportunity here to, uh, you know, use uh, my experiences to bring other people hope and show other people that even when things like this happen, um, you know, it's not uh, the end all be all. As Peyton thought more about it, she thought about all the oncology nurses at Children's who supported her and gave her hope. That's why I want to become a nurse so that hopefully I can impact others in the same way. So the goal is to not just be a nurse, but be a nurse that can look at a child and say, I know how you feel on the yes. inside, not just how you feel physically. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Seeing Peyton succeed like this is extremely humbling. Uh, it is. Um, it makes us so proud. And it is why we wake up every day to do this job. I know she'll make a huge um, difference at the bedside, if not even beyond, to help other patients who are going through this. Her doctors and her nurses say they're not at all surprised that she's going to give back in this way. Listen, at one point, they had her at a 5% survival rate. And now she's cancer-free, she's doing great, and she starts her nursing program at the University of North Carolina in the fall.